Hello, it's Stan here. I'm uh, here to give you a quick uh, whiz through of the Microsoft Silverlight 4 client for Facebook. Um, as you can see, I've got the application up and running in front of me. Um, I'm at the home page at the moment. Um, you'll notice uh, the interface is quite slick looking uh, compared to the Facebook web page that is. On the left hand side here, you can see um, the usual way of being able to filter through information in Facebook through either, you know, um, narrowing it down to status up dates or, or recently uploaded photos or videos and the uh, main pane here in the middle you can see um, the sort of feed that I'm getting so this is kind of equivalent to the news feed um, that I would usually get and um, this is the traditional way of being able to scroll up and down it but you can also get a grid view of the news feed as well and this kind of renders everything in little bite-sized chunks so I can kind of scroll along the way and sort of see things that have been happening if I want to pick a specific post here and uh, look at the detail in it I can just click on it it'll enlarge it it'll show me the entire posting it'll show me any photos any comments that are in it so it's a fairly slick interface of being able to access Facebook information uh, I guess on the right hand side here this is the uh, photo stream view so these are the photos that have been uploaded by various people that I know and um, from the most recent to the least recent you can keep scrolling down if I pick a particular photo what it'll do is it'll take me to that album um, on the left hand side here you can see the nav bar has changed and I've now got thumbnail view of everything uh, in the center is basically the photo itself any comments or captions if there were any comments if I highlight over a particular person it'll show me quite nicely where that person has been tagged in the photo and on the right hand side as well um, any sort of comments for that particular photo so it's a fairly slick interface basically um, I can click on the uh, name of the album itself it gives me the entire thing and I can just scroll through the lot of it so it's a nice slick way of being able to view photos much better than the Facebook web interface if I click on the person itself it takes me over to them I guess and this is the equivalent to the tab people here on the left hand side here you can see now is a, a list of my friends and um, in the center pane you'll see the person that I clicked on this as well so Fraser if you're watching this hello and sorry for victimizing you so here is kind of like the recent postings that Fraser's had and on the right hand side again it's all about the photos and these are photo albums but very spe specifically these are Fraser's photo albums so um, over here it's a nice alphabetical way of being able to access people if I click on K and uh, click on my sister um, here's uh, my sister's wall here's my sister's photos I can even write something uh, maybe harass her a bit so give us a hug um, yeah, and if, as soon as I hit share, basically that gets posted into her uh, Facebook wall. So it's a nice, slick way of being able to to access my friends, uh, see what they're up to, and um, post comments up. Here's my own profile here. Here's my current status. Here's what I'm doing, my photo albums. Um, and also, because I choose to share a lot of information, when you click on info, here's what you can see about me publicly, basically. Um, so it's a fairly slick way of being able to access information. As I say. Um, clicking on to photos, this is a very photo-driven uh, um, Silverlight client I guess so here you can see um, a lot of the photos um, that various people have uploaded if I click on one of them um, uh, picking on Stuart now because he has a good habit of being able to caption his photos as you can see here it's a fairly slick way again of just browsing through photos picking something in particular reading the captions so it's a quite nice way of navigating stuff and I guess the other neat touch around this if I pick someone who's tagged a lot of photos I'm going to pick something in my own photo collection for instance there's quite a few photos of various people here and you'll see that they've all been tagged appropriately um, and I can actually identify any one person clicking their name that cycles me through so it's all very nicely interconnected I guess the last major section for me here is the events tab and this basically gives me a nice slick calendar view of uh, events this month that are highlighted anything that's forthcoming as well so I can see events that are coming up this month coming up this year and it's quite slick because especially um, if there are events I've been invited to and I've accepted you can see who's invited me you can see where the event's taking place, you can see when the date is basically. Um, so it's a very nice way of being able to present information to me. So I cycle up to June, July, I can see in July that there's actually going to be quite a lot of birthdays so I better get buying some cards and so on. Um, the last section here is inbox. Now I don't actually have any real friends so I don't have any messages at all so my inbox is looking a bit sparse. So that's it basically. This is the uh, Microsoft Silverlight 4 client. I uh, hope it's been useful. Cool.